Okay, what we're working on in this section is a system of equations. A system of equation is two equations uh, with two variables. What will happen is the solution is an ordered pair. Because I have two variables, it has to have two answers. And so most of the time, we're going to write it like x, y. If you have problems that have a and b, then you put it alphabetical. C and D, it just goes alphabetical. Okay. All right, so what could happen is there's three different things. You can have a one solution, a no solution, or an infinite solution. A one solution is when you have two lines and they cross at one point, and that's the solution. A no solution is when they don't intersect, and so those are parallel lines. And if you remember, when you have parallel lines, these are going to have equal slopes because they're parallel lines. And then the last one is infinite solution. And this one's the hardest to see. What happens is I have one line. And then when I go to graph my other line, it actually is right on top of it. And so what this is from is it's from the same equation. So two equal equations. So when we're doing this, we're going to graph one line at a time. And if they cross at one point, that's the solution. If they don't cross because they're parallel, it's no solutions. And when you have the same line twice, that's our infinite solution, which is all reals. So let's look at these steps. Step one is to solve for y. Step two is to graph, and step three is to find the intersection. So let's go ahead and do that with my mouse. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find my m, and for this problem, my m is 3 over 1, and then my b is negative 5. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then I'm going to go up 3 and over 1. With these problems, it's important to do as many uh, marks as you can. Yeah, I did that right. So that that way you're able to find the exact intersection. Oh, look at that horrible line. Okay. And so now I'm going to switch colors. And this one, my M is 1 half and my B is 5. So I'm going to go up 5, up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. And it looks like it's going to cross here, but let's see this other line. Let's go back to blue. Uh, one, two, three over one, yeah. So those both intersect right here. So that one was a tricky one just because it was off of our grid. But that's our solution, which is one, two, three, four, seven. So our solution is four, seven. Okay, so now let's do this one. Again, the first one you do the M is negative 2 over 1, and our b is 2. So I go up 2, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Again, the best thing to do is do as many as you can, and then I go the other way, because then that way we're really going to be see, be able to see where our lines cross. And then let's choose a different color so we can see it. And then this one, my m is negative 2 over 1, and my b is negative 1. So down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And if you notice, they're the same pattern. And since they're the same pattern, these are parallel. These are no solution. And you might have actually noticed it right away and not had to graph it if you recognize that my m's are the same. So when you have the same m's, then they're parallel lines, which means there's no solution. Okay, so sometimes you're going to have to uh, solve so for this one, I'm going to rewrite here. I can't graph it until y is by itself. So I need to get rid of this 3x. I'm going to subtract 3x. And so I get y is equal to negative 3x plus 4. And so for my m for this one, it's negative 3 over 1. And my b is 4. So I go up 4. And then I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3 over 1. 1, 2, 3 over 1 down 3 over 1. And I'm going to try to draw the straightest line I can, which is not very straight, so that's why I definitely need to use all the dots so I can possibly find my answer. 
Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit and let's see if we can do this one. X minus 2Y equals 6. I minus X. Now here's an important thing. I don't just have a 2, I have a negative 2Y. And now to get rid of that negative 2, I divide everything by negative 2. And so I get right here, these two negatives, remember, are going to make it a positive. And 6 divided by negative 2 is negative 3. So my M is 1 half, and my B is negative 3. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, and go up 1 and over 2, and look, I automatically found it. It's right there. And so that's the solution, which is at 2, negative 2. That's the answer. Okay, so I'd like you to try number 2. And then once you think you have it, go ahead and press play so that you can check. Okay, so let's see. Hopefully you solved. So I have x minus 2y equals 2. So I'm going to minus x on both sides. And I get negative 2y is equal to negative x plus 2. Divide everything by negative 2. And so, again, two negatives become positive, so it's 1 half x. And 2 divided by negative 2 is negative 1. So my m is 1 over 2, and my b is negative 1. So I go down 1, and then I'm going to go up 1 over 2. And again, I go all the way off my grid, off my coordinate plane, so I can see the answer. Okay, and then let's change papers change colors and so this one right here we'll do down here 7x minus 4y is equal to negative 16 I'm going to minus 7x on both sides so I get negative 4y is equal to negative 7x minus 16 I'm going to go ahead and divide everything by negative 4 and so I get y is equal to two negatives here become positive Two negatives here become positive. And so my M is 7 over 4, and my B is 4. So I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't have space to go up 7. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to make them negative. And if I make both of them negative, it's still a positive. So I'm going to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 6, 7, and go over 4, and there's my answer where they cross. Oh, I missed it. So, but that's my answer where they cross. That's why I write all the coordinates so I can see them. I plot the points. So it's negative 4, negative 3. So when you're graphing these, you have to remember to first get y by itself. Right here, get y by itself. Graph the lines by showing all the points and then writing the coordinate pair if they intersect. If they don't intersect, it's a no solution. If you end up drawing the same line twice, then it's all reals.